Most people that are learning front-end web development learn JavaScript. And why not, right? It's the most popular front-end web development language. It's just about the only language that browsers can understand natively and run. The internet is full of guides and tutorials and walkthroughs on JavaScript. Some of them indeed are right here on my channel. But just because JavaScript is very common, does that really mean that it is the best language to learn if you're new to web development? Well, today we're going to look at the big alternative to learning JavaScript, and that's just jumping in and learning TypeScript as your first main language. So first, a little bit of history. JavaScript was created in 1995 by Brendan Eich, who developed it while he was at Netscape Communications Corporation. Its initial purpose was to add interactivity to web pages. Over the years, JavaScript's capabilities grew, and that made it an essential tool for web development. Today, it's one of the core technologies of the web, along with HTML and CSS. JavaScript is an interpreted high-level programming language. It's known for being lightweight, flexible, and object-oriented. Over the years, several standards have been developed for JavaScript, including ECMA script or ECMAScript. The ECMAScript specification, often abbreviated as ES, that defines a standard set of features for JavaScript. So you might have come across various editions of the spec being called things like ES5 or ES6 or ES2015. These are all short for ECMAScript and they basically mean the JavaScript version. So as websites and web applications became more complex, the demand for more robust tools grew and developers started looking for ways to write maintainable and scalable code. And so that's where TypeScript enters the story. TypeScript was introduced by Microsoft in 2012 and it's a superset of JavaScript. So that means that every valid JavaScript code is also valid TypeScript code. The main addition that TypeScript brings to JavaScript is optional static typing. Static typing can help catch errors early in the development process, and that can provide improved tooling for developers so that you can get things like better auto-completion or better refactoring capabilities and more stuff like that. So with TypeScript, you use types, obviously, but also things like interfaces and generics and even features from future versions of ExmaScript before they become standard in regular JavaScript. So once TypeScript code is written, it's then transpiled into regular JavaScript using the TypeScript compiler. So this means that the end result is still JavaScript, which can run in any browser or JavaScript runtime environment. So now let's have a look at the differences between JavaScript and TypeScript and what that means to you if you're thinking of learning to code in one of these two languages. And the big one, of course, is typing. JavaScript is dynamically typed, which means variables do not have a predefined type. The type of a variable is checked during runtime. TypeScript, on the other hand, offers optional static typing. So that means that you can specify the type of a variable or function or an object at compile time. Now I said that this is optional static typing, and it is. TypeScript has this special type called any, and if you use any, then you essentially remove the type checking part from TypeScript, and it behaves basically the same as JavaScript again. So remember, TypeScript is a superset. So JavaScript code is already valid TypeScript code, and all of the type checking stuff is optional. So what's the benefit of static type checking? Well, the biggest benefit is errors. And when you're learning to code in a new language, you're going to have a lot of errors. And that's okay, but generally TypeScript makes errors much easier to fix. The idea of using types that takes you a little bit more time to write the code in the first place, but you do save a whole load more time when something goes wrong and you need to fix a bug. So think more time typing code and less time staring at error messages. So TypeScript is good for that, but where is it less good? Well, if you're just like starting to learn how to code, and I think it's fair to say that TypeScript does have a steeper learning curve than JavaScript natively. So that is, you need to learn more concepts to get working in TypeScript than in just JavaScript. So learning about types is a big one, but you probably also want to learn about object-oriented programming with TypeScript, because having types at your disposal will lead people to write code in a more object-oriented way. And a lot of open source TypeScript code bases are pretty object-oriented. So learning JavaScript, being a foundational web language, might be considered more straightforward initially, but with TypeScript, there's an initial overhead to understanding the static typing and the TypeScript specific features, but then it can offer a more structured approach, especially for large scale projects. So in conclusion, both JavaScript and TypeScript do have their merits. For someone new to coding, starting with JavaScript can offer you an understanding of the basics of web programming, but as you advance, TypeScript can be a really, really good choice to handle complex projects and to leverage those benefits of static types. Or you could just jump in and learn TypeScript right away. 
It's much easier to just not use types and transition back into writing JavaScript than to start in JavaScript and then have to learn about types later. So a lot of people that have issues with TypeScript, it's because they've learned JavaScript first and they're having to learn new stuff. So whatever you choose, it's initially up to you. Whether TypeScript or JavaScript is better for learning to code is completely subjective and it depends on your goals. Both languages have uses in different scenarios and understanding both could be ideal, but the more you learn, the better you'll become at overcoming new challenges. So why not just learn both? And while you're at it, how about checking out this video right here to help you keep you chugging along on your web development journey. My name's James Charlesworth and this is the Train to Code YouTube channel. I'll see you in this video right here.